Hello, sports fans and White Sox fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am here with some White Sox content. It's been a while since I've uh, put up some just uh, real-life White Sox content, and the main reason for that is because the real-life White Sox are kind of depressing. So can I just ask what the White Sox really what their off-season approach is. I mean, what they hope to accomplish with this off-season approach. I mean, let's recap what they've done, okay? Uh, first of all, we have some free agents, which apparently the White Sox are going to let walk. Those free agents are Tim Anderson, TA7, uh, Liam Hendricks, Yes, Monty Grandall and Elvis Andrus. Now, uh, Anderson, I'm not too happy about letting go. He he had a bad year last year, but I th really think the White Sox should try to re-sign him just the same. He's had good years in the past. He had a bad year last year. He tends to be a hothead, too. But, you know, we really should bring him back. Now, Grandall, not that worried about Grandall leaving. Uh, Hendricks is good, so I'm not happy about uh, losing Hendricks. We, as long as he's over his um, lymphoma, lymphoma, his cancer, I think, um, I mean, if he's totally healthy again, he would have been good, a good piece to keep in the bullpen. Uh, or to try, you know, try to re-sign to keep in the bullpen. Um, and then you got um, Andrus, which um, we went out and signed Paul DeYoung. Now, um, I mean, if you're going to go out and sign Paul DeYoung, why don't you just sign Andrus? Because Andrus might be less expensive. Now, he might be, although Andrus did have a better year last year than DeYoung had. So um, so those guys are, are definitely going to be gone. And I've heard, I mean, it's my impression. I don't know. I haven't seen anything solid on it. But I have heard that the White Sox also are willing to move Dylan Cease in a trade. Now, if you're going to trade Cease, you better get some really great stuff back. Really great. Lots of really great back. So, I mean, if they do that, I don't know. The next year is just, it's, well, I, I mean, next year is already done. We're already toast next year. So, anyway, let's talk about the guys that they signed and acquired. Uh, they signed Eric Fetty, who was formerly in the KBO, which is the Japanese, one of the Japanese major leagues. Now, he was the MVP of the KBO, but what does that mean? Because really, the KBO basically is a league of talent that is somewhere probably between our major leagues and AAA. It's like a kind of a, uh, you know, uh, AAA plus. You know how they talk about players that are really good in AAA and then they can never make it in the majors. They're AAA+. Plus. Well, that's about what that league is like. So to be the MVP of that league, I don't know. Maybe he learned something. Maybe he's better. Let's hope he is. Really got to hope he is. Uh, we also signed Jake Cousins to a minor league contract. He is a relief pitcher. Um his career numbers are 3-1 and one with a 308 earned run average in 52 and two-thirds innings pitched. And he struck out 72 guys in that time period, and he has a 139 whip. So, um, you know, we're, we're probably going to need him because we're going to lose people because, you know, Chris Getz, and don't, get me, don't even get me started on Chris Getz as the GM. I don't know what they were thinking when they hired him as the GM, but anyway... Um, let's go on. As I said, they signed Paul DeYoung. I like to call him DeJong. Paul DeJong. So, 
that's that's just my name for him. But anyway, he, um, you know, I mean, his career stats are 207. His slash line, his career slash line is 207, 299, 716. And last year, with three teams, that should tell you everything you need to know, he had a slash line of 207, 258, 613. And uh, he hit 14 home runs in 372 at-bats. So he's got a little bit of power. If he could just bring that average and that on-base percentage up a little bit, just a little bit. And then we did a trade with the Atlanta Braves where we sent away Aaron Bummer. So, again, we're going to need Cousins. I mean, I don't know why they even bothered to sign Cousins to a minor league contract. We're going to need him. But we traded Bummer to Atlanta for uh, Mike Soroka and, as one of the pieces. And Soroka's career, he is 17-8 and eight with a 332 earned run average and a 121 whip. And uh, we also got Nicky Lopez from them. Apparently, Nicky Lopez is going to be our starting second baseman. I mean, that's what it's really starting to look like. Uh, Nicky Lopez's uh, career is uh, 249 hitter with a 312 on base and a 631 um, OPS. And last year he hit 231 with one home run in 225 at bats. Now, full disclosure here, I like Nicky Lopez. I like the guy. I mean, he's a scrappy player. But you don't want a scrappy player being your full time second baseman. So. Chris Getz, uh, he's got some work to do. And like I said, why did we sign Chris Getz as the new GM? He has no experience as the GM. He had some personnel in like minor league, whatever, the White Sox minor league system, blah, blah, blah. The White Sox have to quit cutting corners. That's basically what's got to happen. Oh, and on top of everything, we ha- we fell to number five in the 2024 draft lottery. We were the fourth worst team in baseball, but we have the fifth pick because of the draft lottery. Now, I know, I know, you're going to say, well, you only fell one spot from where you actually finished. But if you're in a draft lottery and you're as bad as the White Sox, you'd probably like to see that the number one pick or the number two pick, something like that. But anyway, we're not going to get that. So, um, again, I think uh, next year is looking like we're going to... We may still finish ahead of the Royals, but that will be it. That will be it. And not only that, but we lost uh, Jason Benetti as one of our announcers, which I love Jason Benetti. He's awesome. The guy was great, and he went to be the announcer for the Tigers. It's like this has been the most... Terrible offseason that the White Sox almost possibly could have had so far. So what do you guys think? Uh, Let me know in the comments below, especially if you're a White Sox fan. Do you think we've got... Do you think Chris Getz has something up his sleeve and he's just going to pull something out of his hat? And he's, he's just waiting for the right minute? Or do you think he's just a moron that does has no idea what he's doing? I... I mean, maybe I think he's somewhere in between because I'm going to give him the benefit of a doubt, but he's closer to moron than he is um, a genius that's just waiting on the right minute to pounce. So uh, let me know what you think, and I would be very uh, interested to find out what everyone's impression is of the White Sox offseason so far, and do you think that they can recover and uh, get a team that might No. Don't, uh, nobody should say that they're going to make the playoffs next year. I mean, if you say that, I'm just going to tell you you really don't know anything about baseball. But that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am signing off.